Greetings all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take an informal look at the Zotac Zone, a new Windows-based handheld that was announced at Computex last week. Quite a few of the top reviewers went there and they had hands-on with the device, a lot of interesting facts that came out of that, so I just wanted to go through that and discuss it. I'm trying a bit of a new format of a video on my channel where I informally discuss these devices, uh, just to try and be a little bit more genuine, and also to uh, get the news to you guys as quickly as possible. So if we look at the zone, first thing you'll notice, obviously it looks a lot like a Steam Deck, not exactly, the controls are in different places. If you take a look at the Steam Deck over here, you see the controls are much more aligned. Uh, the zone's got the dual trackpads as well though. It's Windows based, the Steam Deck is Linux based. Um, but yeah, the, there's a lot of differences inside as well. If we look at the specs, we'll see that it comes with a Ryzen 7 8840U processor, uh, whereas the Steam Deck has the Zen 2 processor, Van Gogh processor. Um, 780M graphics. Uh, the zone has got a 7-inch AMOLED display at 1080p resolution, 120Hz refresh rate. Steam Deck is, comes in at 120, 180 by 800, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at the specs here. Yeah, and it, uh, it has... Uh, also, it comes at 60 hertz refresh rate, if I'm not mistaken, 90 hertz, up to 90 hertz, so on the OLED version. Um, so, yeah, very similar. Also, OLED display. Apparently, the uh, display on the Steam Deck is a little bit higher than on the Zone. Um, if you look at the uh, ergonomics compared on the IGN video, I'll leave a link in the description, you can see that the Steam Deck is a little bit thicker than the Zone. Uh, according to the feedback from most of the hands-on guys, it is quite quite comfortable, and they enjoyed it. Um, the internals, how much difference is there going to be in performance? The 8840U is quite a bit newer, a little bit newer than what the Zen 2 processor is on the Steam Deck. I googled some benchmarks, and you can go to the, I'll leave the link in the description to this article at Hot Hardware, where they ran Batman Arkham Knight on the 7840U processor and the Steam Deck Zen 2 processor. And you can see there's about a 5 to a 10% difference in performance. Um, the Steam Deck struggling to get over 30 FPS at times, which uh, wouldn't be good. It's going to be a little bit slow and stuttery, um, where this 8840U performs a little bit better. So you are going to get, you are going to see a little bit better performance on it. The question is whether or not it's worth the price difference. Um, if we look at some of the other specs and uh, differences, mainly uh, in the design and ergonomics, you've got uh, this little button on the triggers at the back which allows your trigger buttons to depress completely or then become like a hair trigger, which is a neat feature. Apparently it was available on some other handouts. I haven't seen it. It's the first time I've seen it. It also has these radial dial buttons, which you can see in this uh, pic here on Reddit. Um, around the whole sensors, you've got this radial dial button, which apparently will be programmable and you'll be able to control things like volume and brightness with it. Um, so that's one of the other major differences. Um, screen more or less the same, like we said, and uh, the zone has got this camera in front here, which most of the handheld reviewers weren't very excited about. Uh, they don't seem to use the unit as a day-to-day -day kind of Windows workbench PC. They rather use it for gaming. Um, so the main thing they would use this for is to log in with facial recognition. So yeah, that's uh, the Zotac Zone. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Will this be a contender, a threat to the Steam Deck? Personally, I don't think so. It's set to be released in uh, quarter three around September and come in at about $800, whereas the Steam Deck is available for $550 for the OLED version, the entry-level OLED version. Slightly smaller hard drive, but personally, I would rather go for the Steam Deck or the likes of the Asus ROG Ally, the first unit, maybe even buy it second-hand. Never been a guy to go straight for the newest thing on the on the market. I prefer the thing that is second, but almost just as good and costs a lot less. Just a better value proposition for me. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to discuss it with you. That's it for this one. Catch you in the next tech update.